Hello, hello, hello everybody and thank you for joining me in this video. For anyone that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Elutheria and it's nice to meet you. As you may have understood by the title of this video, we are going to review Android App Development Masterclass using Kotlin by Udemy. Most of the classes and the courses that I'm reviewing are free, but this one costs almost 12 euros, almost 12 euros, at least at the time that I'm recording this video. And I have to tell you that this is a ridiculously low price for this course. But before we begin with this review, let me also tell you that I have in my YouTube channel a list of other courses as well, because I know that maybe not all of you are about Kotlin and about Java. So on my channel, you can also find courses about uh, JavaScript, about UX, about UI, about HTML, CSS and other stuff as well. So yeah, in the description box you will be able to find that link of the playlist as well as this uh, link for that specific course from Udemy. Now let's get started with our review. Uh, it has a 4.4 out of 5 ratings, which is uh, incredibly good. And yes, I did like that course a lot. Let's see what you will learn. You will learn the core Android app development and Kotlin skills to build real Android apps. And when we say real, I think that this course really means that you will build big projects, not like the projects that you build on Udacity courses, which are very focused, but also small, but these are going to be real projects. Um, understand how to create Android apps using Kotlin, learn how to target current and older versions of Android. This is also like really important if you are working somewhere professionally, be able to apply for Android app development roles. And yes, this is also obviously important. This course is almost 55 hours of video, like really 55 hours. Can you imagine how much time a course like this takes to be produced? Oh my God, I can't even think about that. It has 16 articles. Okay, here, uh, maybe they could have done a better job, but maybe also like 16 articles are okay. It says two downloadable resources. This means that every time that you start a lesson, you will have like the, the first few lines of code. And then as soon as the video ends, you will have another pack of code. So you can check also your solution, you can compare it to the instructor and stuff like that. So only seeing these things, you can understand that this course is really, really full of things. And again, like I believe that this price is extremely good for what you get. I don't think that it could be better. And if by the time that you're watching this video, you don't get this price, but you have to pay almost 100 euros, then I would suggest you to wait for a little bit because Udemy does like this kind of things pretty often. So sometimes you will get a course for 100 euros and the other times you can get them for 12 euros. So just maybe wait a few days. Um, okay, let's see. For, I will go to the course content in a bit. First, I want to talk a little bit about the requirements. It says that you have to have a Windows computer, Mac or Linux, which is like the pretty basic stuff. Again, the good thing with this course is that you will get specific instructions depending which operating systems you are using. Because other courses are more specific to Windows or are more specific to Mac, but no, there are um, some videos which are specific to Windows, to Mac or to Linux. So that um, is covered as well. And it has a uh, machine so that the free Google Android Studio can be downloaded and installed. You will get instructions on how to do that. 
depending on which machine you're using. An open mind to learn something new and excited, which may key, which may make a huge difference in your future career. And everything else needed to write apps for Android 8 Oreo with Kotlin is already included in this course. And I can say that yes, this is true. Everything is included. If you check the reviews, you will see that they are really good and most of the people are giving like five stars because that's what it deserves. Now this course is instructed by two people, Tim and uh, Jean-Paul. I think that they are both Australian, so their accent is going to be the Australian one. At first, like for the first or second video, it may take some time to learn how to listen to them. Um, maybe you're more like familiar with the American accent, but of course they are great and you can like easily understand them. Uh, both of these people have done other courses all, as well, so they are very, very knowledgeable and you can understand that they are very knowledgeable with the way they speak and they try to explain you things. They give you a lot of examples and they give you other resources to read or your own as well. Now, as far as uh, the things that you're going to learn, you will start from something very, very basic. So if you are not very familiar with programming, with coding, with um, object-oriented programming languages, you will get all the basic things, which is something really good because I was searching for beginner's courses and I think that this one covers everything. Obviously, it's 55 hours, so yeah, it will cover a lot of things. In the first few sections, like I think for the first one, which is introduction and course information, for the second one, downloading and installing the necessary tools, you will do as they say in the title. You won't have any problems to install Android Studio, they have a lot of um, information and as you can see, we will get different things about the operating systems that you are using, so don't worry if you are using Windows, Mac or Linux. And uh, then the next section, Hello World Android App, you will learn how to use Android Studio, you will build like very small things, but not um, any app. And then in the Kotlin tutorial, the instructor focuses more on learning Kotlin. And again, this is really important because in other courses you won't find that. I did check a lot of courses and trust me, you won't get very basic things in other uh, tutorials. So this is great. And after that, you will start building your first apps. Again, the good thing with this tutorial that I didn't find in other tutorials is that you're building really or like real apps that can be used the first one, obviously, the button counter app, it's pretty simple, okay, and um, it's more like for you to learn how to use Android Studio and to understand how to use Kotlin um, and maybe to understand what Kotlin can do. I say maybe because then in the future, like in the calculator and in the other apps, you will go in depth, which is great. For me, the first real app, it's the calculator app. Um, I did that. You will learn a lot of things. The base uh, or the basic things that you will learn are about the layout and how to construct the design, which is really, really important. Again, I didn't find that in any other tutorial. Yes, I did find things about um, the design but not in so much depth. This one goes in depth and I really, really, really like that. You will continue with the top 10 downloader app. You will continue with the YouTube app. In this specific case, I remember in the YouTube app that you will also do other stuff like Google API key and you will learn about APIs and stuff like that, which comes very handy in a real job. You will continue with the Flickr browser app and again you can see that there are like so 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 many things um one thing that i have to mention here is that because this course was uh, created a few years ago some things are not extremely modern as you may find in courses from udacity but um yeah in most cases you won't have any problem this course is not built with android x 
only on the latest uh, sections you will have to use Android X and all the other stuff are with Android. For example, here that they speak, the instructor talks about the serialable and parcelable. Some of these things are deprecated. So I know that it took me some time to trying to find a solution or a workaround. But the other, the other really good thing is that if you ask a question, the instructor is going to answer, <laughs> which is like so, so, so good. Because I know that in other tutorials and in other courses, the instructors rarely answer and um, you will have to find a solution on your own. Or maybe if you're lucky, another student is going to reply to you. But no, in this course, um, you will get an answer by the instructor, which I think fun, extremely helpful and I think that's why so many students have en enrolled into that course and that's why it has such a good rating because you, it's like you have the instructor with you and this is really, really important. Continuing, you will learn things about databases and again, you won't find in any other course, at least from what I have seen, so many things about databases and trust me i have seen a lot of courses especially from udacity and you can also check the reviews about that courses and you will see that i don't speak about databases because they barely had anything but if you're using a droid if you're using kotlin you know that um the databases is something really important and probably you have to know how to use databases if you're trying to do something professionally and I know for example that I didn't know a lot of things about that and it was like pretty pretty helpful you have other things such as view model and live data the task timer app oh my god I remember that app it took me so long to do that section it's a very big section it's about 10 hours and it doesn't like end here the next section oh my god like so many things the next section dialogues and setting dialogues and multiple uh, type tables sorry in database upgrades they all have to do with this app the task timer app Something that um, it was a bit difficult for me is that up until here the instructor uses Android and then he switches to Android X. So I know that some things I had to look for them and search them on my own. But then as soon as he switched uh, sections, he said how to configure those things that I was trying to configure on my own. Obviously, it's a good thing searching and doing stuff like that, but if you are a beginner, maybe you want something like, like let's say you want the solution at that time, and especially if there are things about configuration, you really want to see simply how they are done, okay? But yeah, all in all, it was a nice uh, course, it was a nice section, and I did learn a lot of things. Um, another thing is that I wrote two small articles, they are published on Dev2. I will leave those articles in the description box. And this article, um, I go into details about what I learned. So as we saw, you have the calculator app, you have the top 10 downloader. And I also have a link with my code on GitHub and the demo to see how they are going to look. So if you want to see more stuff, obviously you can check those articles as well. Alrighty, I think that was it about um, this beautiful Udemy course. I hope that you liked it. If you have like any question, leave a comment below and I will check it out. If you want me to review any other course, again, feel free to mention it. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. I'm wishing you a productive day. And before you go, please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you!